OK, so we've validated that our logic apps were functioning. It's able to connect to Twitter. As you get tweets back uh, and take the results of those tweets, send them over to our cognitive service for analysis, and we're getting some results back. So that's a good start. Um, for the next step, we're going to update the logic app so it stores the results. So we've got some permanent record of the um, results of the, the analysis and put that into our Cosmos DB. So we'll be storing them in the database. So here I am back in our Vision Lab resource group. And um, you can see we have the few resources in here now. We have the logic app itself and a few of those API connections we set up are stored as resources in here as well. But we're focusing on the, the app itself. So let's click back into Vision app, the logic app. And we're taken to the main screen where we are carrying out that testing um, a little bit earlier. Um, so we need to go and edit this. So we click on edit at the top and go back into the designer view. And we're taken back to um, the logic app designer. So what we need to do is uh, underneath the step where we're describing the image and we've got results coming back, we need to add an action underneath that. So it's important that we click add action here, which is inside this, this white box, this for each box, uh, and add an action inside that step. So we get prompted as before um, from the list of all the different connectors and actions that are available. Um, there's a vast array of uh, options available to, in Logic Apps. The ones we're interested in are part of Cosmos. So we can start typing Cosmos in here. We can see there's a Cosmos DB connector and there's an option to do lots of different actions against Cosmos DB. The one we're interested in is create or update document. So everything in Cosmos DB is referred to as a document. So again, again, we need to connect our logic app to Cosmos DB. So to do this, we need to give it a connection name. This is, import, this is not important, but we just call it Cosmos. And Logic Apps has gone off and worked out, well, which um, Cosmos DB accounts are available. Um, and it's seen the one that we created earlier. So we simply only have to do is click on that and click Create. And it's going to create the new connection for us. OK, great. Before I carry on, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. I appreciate this can be a little hard to see. So what do we need to do? We need three bits of information here. The first one is the database that we're going to store things in. So that's this MyDB, the, the MyDB that we created earlier, if you remember um, earlier on. And the collection we want to store them in, it's called Photos. So that's the, the, that's the easy part. Um, the tricky bit is you know, defining the document that we're actually going to insert. So the document is going to be um, formed of JSON. So we need to create um, a valid JSON document inside this uh, screen here. So we'll start off simply with two, two curly brackets. Uh, that's kind of an empty JSON object. And, and then we're going to build this up piece by piece because this bit can be really, really difficult. And there's lots of um, places that you can kind of go wrong. So I'm going to do this quite slowly. So inside our curly brackets, I'm going to create a, a new property called ID. All the properties have to be inside double quotes. So we have to type double quotes. ID, followed by a colon, and then a space is optional, but it just makes it easier to read. And then two more double quotes to represent the value of ID. So at the moment, that would just be a blank string. So what we need to do is move our cursor inside the double quotes so we can insert a value inside inside that. To do that, if you scroll off to the right, uh, we have this dynamic content um, view down here where we can insert different um, have a dynamic content from the flow itself or use expressions, which are basically like functions. Uh, if you've done any Excel, they're like Excel macros. Um, they do various you know, simple functions that we can carry out. So we will need to generate a, a random unique ID. Luckily, there's one available to, function available to do that called GUID, G-U-I-D. So you can start typing that in. Click on that. It's important you put um, two brackets after it, and it pops up with a little um, helper text there, which is getting in the way. So it should be GUID, open brackets, close brackets. As soon as you hit OK, um, it puts it inside the double quotes there. So you can see it's put a little pink box, which represents the function, and the function that we're calling um, is inside that string. So the next thing you need to do is important to put a comma at the end of that line. OK, 
create a new line and we need to add a second property, which is going to be called time, all lowercase, inside double quotes again, followed by a colon, and again, two double quotes to start off our empty string, then we move the cursor back inside that. So we want to generate a, a, gener uh, a timestamp, again, using this dynamic content functions, uh, function, dynamic content <coughs> kind of pop-up helper on the right, we can do that using the expression view. So we click on expression, start typing UTC, and we'll see there's a UTC now. We click on that, and it auto-populates UTC now as the function that we're going to call. So we click OK, and that inserts that inside, um, inside the two quotes. So in two more properties we want to add. So again, we add a comma at the end of this line. You'll notice it will actually warn you if your JSON's not valid. So at the moment, it's not valid because we've got a kind of a trailing comma. So what we need to do is add another property. This one has to be called URL, all lowercase. Again, in double quotes, followed by a colon, followed by two double quotes. Move our cursor inside those double quotes. And we're going to use this dynamic content uh, view again. And what we're going to do is scroll down. So there's two, um, <clears throat> two sections here. One is the list of results from the describe image step. So there's the cognitive service results. And we've also got the results of the previous um, step, which was getting the tweets. So we still have um, the original URL is available to us. So if you scroll down to when a new tweet is posted, and below that, you'll see lots of different properties we can pull in. It's important you click this one, media URLs dash item. If you click that, it will put the media URL item inside the string. Right, nearly there, one more to go. So we had a comma at the end of this line, a new property called description. followed by a colon. Now this time, do not put any double quotes. So this, I said, this is easy to get wrong. <laughs> um, so make sure you don't have any double quotes here. Uh, and we're gonna again, come over to this dynamic content and we'll see, scroll back up to the describe image URL step. Um, <clears throat> and in here, just below caption text and captions is the description itself, the description object. So we click on that. And you see that gets inserted into um, the view over here. So this is what the final um, uh, document looks like. I'm just going to zoom in one more time so everyone can see this OK. Um, or you can see it OK on the, on the video. Um, we've got ID, time, URL, and description. Um, ID is time and URL are in double quotes, and description isn't. And they're set to um, various functions and properties. So with that, we're actually done, and that should update um, our Cosmos database. So what we need to do, it's very important, we click Save. And we'll go back to the, the Vision app itself. We can do this on the breadcrumb or by hitting Close. Uh, ask somebody to hit Close. And we'll go around uh, by creating some more tweets and, and follow on by testing this.